sent word of your arrival. I am Scribe Peabody. Welcome, etc. Now, I'm really very busy. Is there something you needed? Found a Brotherhood hard tank. What should I do with it? Talk to oh, Jameson. Yeah, sorry. Ooh. Quartermaster Durga here, stranger. I have to say, I'm not sure what you're doing in my armory. We run a tight ship, and unless Elder Lion says so, quarter. Oh. We'll get we'll get to that in a bit. Sure, I think we have to go. We must have to go upstairs and then go out the door. Star Paladin Cross. Hail to you. By the traction of hospitality and on the word of Elder Lions, I welcome you to the Citadel. I am Star Paladin Cross, Keeper of the Arm, and Seneschal to Elder Lions. And I am honored to say I was acquainted with your father. Now, what may I do to help you? You knew my father? I did, and you as well. Long ago, I helped guard the water purifier against the super mutant horde. When your father left, I escorted the two of you to Megaton. He was a noble man. I was saddened to hear of his passing. But from what I've heard, he died with honor. He died for you. I only pray that my own death has such meaning. I'll do so much. I'll never forget him. And so our deeds are carried on through our sons and our daughters. Continue to remember him fondly. Continue to tell his story. And continue to do his work. Through you, he shall carry on. I have heard tales of your travels, and I must say, they disturb me. I had hoped to fight by the side of the child of my former friend. But until you Oh, she's the good karma companion. Okay, we just get a camera up so we can add her to the list of victims. I mean, companions. <laughs> you want to come with me? Okay, let's go now. Camera's too low. We'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. I'd like to hear your report on those latest armor modifications. Fucking <laughs> hard ass bastard over here. I'm happy to report that the development of the Mark II recon armored unit is proceeding as Just find some scrap metal from somewhere and uh give it to a uh, Walter for free. DC area vault. Okay, vault 87, I think it was. I like how he's in the other building as well, that's nice. Welcome. Oh, there you are. Hail, outsider. I am word of your ordeal. I have some Brotherhood holotags. You have? Oh my. This brings to light a sad affair for the Brotherhood, but perhaps it is something that you can assist us with. If you have the time, I have an offer for you. Sure, I've got all the time in the world. Good. As I'm sure you've noticed, the Brotherhood operates all over the DC ruins, often detached from the main base here at the Citadel. We're short on communication equipment. So many of the groups in the field operate as independent cells, without standing orders. Sometimes, I'm afraid that their missions end in their deaths. As Keeper of the Scrolls, it's my charge to write of each Fallen Brother's deeds. And without radio equipment, you can't keep track of them. Exactly. A brother fallen in the field may have no one to carry word of his death back to me. In calmer times, we could send detachments and messengers to learn their fates. But with our manpower stretched thin, we have no such luxury. 
which is why I must now ask you for your help. Each brother wears a holotag like the one you found. Should you find any of the fallen brethren in the field, I ask that you return their tags to me so that I might record their deeds in the scrolls. Where can I find holotags? They are on our fallen brothers throughout the DC ruins. However, I can't give you a full report on the locations of all of our operations. As I said, many of the units in the field operate independently, sometimes not reporting into the Citadel for weeks or months. Okay, I'm gonna be selfish. What's my reward? We have access to a great deal of technology, and because of that, there are a number of things that we can continue to produce. I will be able to offer you caps for the tags you bring me, but from time to time, I will be able to give you something a bit more interesting. I want to ask for the hard tags. Found some. Have you? It saddens me to hear of my fallen brethren, but their names and deeds shall be records. Tell me, how many have you found? Is that all I have? Their names shall be written into the scrolls to be remembered forever. As for you, here is your reward. Use it well and in good health. Oh, 500 caps. That's bad. Not bad. I was kind of hoping to just give it, give it away for free for uh, karma, but whatever. Well, whatever. Yeah, vending machine. Oh, quantum. Oh, no, that's important. B ring. Uh. Just trying to keep these uh, things together. Do I? Do I? What is this? The so the solar. Uh, I don't get it. <laughs> God, that dialogue reeks of fucking oblivion. Who's this little shit? Hey, Squire Maxon? Hail to you, stranger. I am Squire Maxon, royal servant of steel. It is an honor to make your acquaintance. Uh, relax, Squire. I don't bite. I plead for your pardon if my behavior offends you, sir. We don't get many visitors in the Citadel. The brothers and elder lions are excellent teachers, but I get nervous about the protocol. The Codex says that outsiders are not to be trusted. Shield yourself from those not bound to you by steel, for they are the blind. Aid them when you can, but lose not sight of yourself, it says. Understandable, I've met a lot of dangerous people myself. It's not simply the outsiders that we are wary of. Anybody who has not taken the oath of fraternity is suspicious to us. The Codex says, fear those who do not pledge to the Brotherhood, for though their eyes may be opened through service, they are now blind. But it also tells us, give way your suspicions to the wisdom of thine elders. 
Where he shows trust, so shall you. Elder lions trust you, so you are free to stay here. Aren't you a little young for all this? Oh, well, you see, I am descended from the great Roger Maxon, founder of our order. I am the last of his line. They say my soul was forged from eternal steel, but I don't believe that. I'm really just a normal boy. I was sent to the Citadel many years ago to be fostered by elder lions. But that was before the Western Elder lost um, faith in the Elder. I really don't know if I'll ever get home, but, well, I kind of like it here. Sentinel Lyons has been very kind to me. She's taught me so much. What do you make of the Enclave? You're asking me what I think about the Enclave? Well, the Brotherhood of Steel has actually faced the Enclave before, back west, more than 30 years ago, according to our chronicles. Judging from those records, I say their soldiers are outfitted in advanced power armor Mark II. It's pretty strong. Better than our power armor. And some of their technology is amazing. Vertibirds. Plasma weapons that can turn a man to goo. Does that help? Don't suppose you know anything about super mutants. Oh, yes. I've studied them quite a bit since I've been here. They're not all the same, you know, besides the regular ones. There are also brutes, and after them, the masters. They're really tough. But the worst of all? The behemoth! He's a giant! I saw one once, outside the Citadel walls. So scary. The super mutants are all over the city ruins. But Elder Lions doesn't actually think they're from there, or we would have found their home by now. It kind of seems like they're looking for something. We're not really sure what that is. They don't actually make you fight, do they? No. But I could. I know I'm ready. I mean, it would be scary, but it's not fair that I have to sit inside while the knights go on patrol. I did go out one time, you know. Sarah, Sentinel Lions, took me out. Just to show me. I killed a super mutant, too. I swear. I... Uh, I also sort of shot Sarah, but just a little. It was just a flesh wound. I have to go now. May we speak again soon. Alright, well. I'll be sure to uh, blow him up when I get the chance. Mighty, mighty man, I'm going to be in my prime. I'm a mighty, mighty man. Whatever, fuck. I shouldn't be singing to copyrighted music. Not that I get money, monetization from any of these videos anyway. Ah, uh, you're back. 47 has a geck, but I don't know where it is. Ah, well, that much I believe I can help with. Step over here for a moment. I'll show you where it is. Well, fortunately, I am still having a supply problem. But Kazan, that name is not to be spoken of in this city. Do you understand? I wish it were not so. Truly, I do. But he is outcast. Yes, he is outcast. You honor us with your presence here. This map shows the locations of all known vaults in the local area. Vault 87 has been highlighted for you. There. Entrance to Vault 87 will be particularly difficult for you, I'm afraid. Why is it? The area is highly irradiated. Lethal levels are all around the entrance. Gaining direct access will be quite impossible. How do I get through the radiation? Quite simply, you don't. To attempt such a thing would be certain death for you. Yeah, we actually uh, 
accidentally walked walked into that area and got completely blitzed. I think it was like a hundred fucking rads per second, which you know that's bad for your health. About right away can power through that, and I think even if you get to the door, like it's locked anyway, so you're definitely gonna die. There must be another way around. You share your father's determination, it seems, and in this case, you are correct. There may well be another way. Vault 87 is located very close to the site of Lamplight Caverns. It is entirely probable that the vault may be entered from within the caves. Well, I guess it's time to find out. I'll go there myself. The Brotherhood simply cannot spare the resources necessary to investigate the area. Perhaps you may be more successful. If you do find anything, please return here so that we may decide how best to proceed. Thanks for your help. I wish we could do more, but the Brotherhood potentially faces a very pressing, very real threat in the Enclave. All of my efforts must now be devoted to assessing the threat they may pose to us. I'm sure you understand. Mm-hmm. All right. Such lamplight caverns. Now, we are, we've heard of lamplight uh, from the citizens of Big Town. It's where all the kids live. Gosh, we all know that because this is a game that's fucking 11 years old. But, got, uh, there's one thing I want to do and it's a quest that's now available to us. But we have to wait 14 in game days for it to activate. So, yeah. Kind of corny, actually. Oh, oh, there it. Never mind. Never mind. Fourteen days. It's already here. <laughs> it's already ready. This is an automated distress message from Vault Tech. Vault One O One. Message begins. It feels like you left home a long time ago, but I know you're still out there. I just. Hope you're still alive to hear this. Things got worse after you left. My father's gone mad with power. If you can hear this, please stop looking for your dad and help stop mine. I changed the door password to my name. If you're hearing this, and if you still care enough to help me, you should remember it. Message repeats. This is an automated. It's Trouble on home the home front. I don't know why I'm singing that. Right, let's fucking go. We've got our mission. I've got to go home now. Which I could walk there, but... I'm going to be lazy and fast travel. I only left the vault, left Megaton, because uh, I wanted to see if there's any merchants out there. Okay, I'm actually already sick of the radio. Let's turn it off. Learn what happened to Vault 101. Oh, there's a corpse here. Jim Wilkins, no! Armstrong. Okay, stealth bot will do. Stop right there. 
I don't know how you got in here, but... Hold on. Wait a minute. It's you! I hardly recognized you with all the dust and grime from out there. Guess that explains how you got that door open. You've got more experience with it than most everyone down here combined. <laughs> Don't mind that. I need to talk to with Amar. I got a message. Amara's message. I don't know what you're talking about, but I'd keep that under your hat for her sake. She could get in real trouble if people found out she sent you a message. So could I, just for talking with you now. What sort of trouble do you mean? Let me bring you up to speed. It seems like it's been a mighty long time. The night you and your dad left, everything went crazy. Between the bugs and the confusion, we lost a lot of people. When your dad opened up that gate, he let loose a whole lot of crap, if you'll pardon my language. Dad would be horrified to know all that if he was still alive. I'm... I'm sorry to hear that. Regardless of how things turned out down here, he was a good friend. I always figured he'd do well outside. Matter of fact, a lot of folks started thinking he had the right idea. He usually did. So, if it was safe out there, why stay down here forever? Well, the overseer didn't like that one bit and started cracking down on that sort of thought. Guess he didn't plan on you coming back. So what now? I probably ought to put you under arrest and take you into the Overseer. But frankly, I know better than to try that. Meanwhile, some of your old friends think opening the vault is a good idea. I bet those rebels would like a word with you. Now more than ever. Of course, if you want, you can just walk away as if you were never here. Out of respect for your dad, I won't even tell anyone I saw you. Wait, why don't the rebels just leave? It's not that they want to leave. It's that they want to open the door and interact with the rest of the world. But that would risk the whole vault. This is too messed up. Uh, can you leave me somewhere? I guess you've had a lot on your mind since you were here last. Where do you want to go? I need to see Amara. Lead me to her. Okay. Follow me. Wait here. This doesn't look good. You know I can't do that, Freddy. Now get back down below before I have to do something we'll both regret. What? You're gonna lock me up like you did the Grotch? You can't cave the tunnel snake, man, because we rule. Stay back. Taylor, stop shooting, damn it! Don't you know enough to stay away? You almost shot Freddy. I didn't mean to fire. I really didn't. I just wanted to scare him off. But he had a knife. I can't be too careful with those rebels. Tell me about the rebels. I tell you, I'm scared of them. I never know when they're going to try something dangerous. Why, why is this relic being a fucking... Oh, then again, I, I killed most all of, all of the security officers. What happened down here? I lost my poor wife Agnes is what happened. And all the chaos and fighting. Her old ticker just couldn't take it anymore. 
Uh, I have to go now. Yes, you do. I guess you can see how bad things are down here. Sorry, where were we going? Uh, Ma. As chance would have it, she was one of the first people to talk about life outside the vault after you left. No surprise. She always did like you. I hope you can talk some sense into her. Or maybe the two of you can come up with some other plan. Just be careful about it. Oh, the overseer should would definitely know that I'm here. Amada's up there, in the clinic. Amada's up there, in the clinic, with the rest of them. I have to take you closer. Damn, look who's come waltzing back into the vault. It takes some real balls coming back here after everything you and your dad screwed up. But if you've got to be back, might as well make yourself useful. You gotta help us. What kind of help? What sort of help do you think I mean? You must have heard about the changes since you left, right? The deaths, the lies, the whole overseer lockdown thing? Ringing any bells? Man, they'd have rushed in here long ago if they didn't know I stole one of their guns from when they issued martial law. Anyway, you gotta help us get out of here. You gotta help me get out of here. Don't worry, I'm trying to help the entire vault. Man, screw the entire vault. What about me? Even these rebels just want the option to go outside for lousy trading and stuff. I just want to get the hell out of here for good. Why stay here and be stuck as a barber for my entire life when I could go out there and make my own choices? Barber. Oh yeah, he gets, he gets that. <laughs> that was his goat results. Butch, what do you do in the vault? The damn goat said I'm supposed to be a hairdresser, but that ain't me. I'm a barber, you got that? There's a difference. Can you give me a haircut? Okay, hold still. Wait, she's literally gonna give me a haircut right here in the middle of the fucking hallway. Oh no. Set change the green. What do you think you're going to do outside, Butch? I'll start a gang, of course. Why, it'll be the toughest, coolest, badassest gang the Wasteland's ever seen. Hey, play your cards right. Maybe I'll even let you join it, huh? Hey, I'm already a tunnel. S in the tunnel snakes, you gave me the jacket and everything. Yeah, but I'm thinking it'll be a new gang. We ain't gonna just be in tunnels, you know. Besides, there's gonna be a lot more people who wanna join. Competition's gonna be tough. Uh, okay, why should I help you, Butch? Look, I know I've been kind of a jerk. But I don't deserve to be stuck down here forever. Not when I could have a real life up there like you. I mean, you're kind of a jerk sometimes. And you make it work up there. So why not me? Just make it so we can leave the vault, and I can go out there for my new life. Heck, maybe we could form a gang, huh? You know, he's a, he is actually a neutral Karmad uh, companion, so we've got him as an option if our Karma doesn't shoot up. 
All right, let's go for it. Uh, what happened that night? I heard old Stanley complaining a lot of the stuff down in the reactor got fried pretty bad. Uh, nothing too bad yet, but he's always worrying we'll lose air filtration or whatever. Of course, if that happened, guess we'd all have to leave the vault then, huh? I'll be going. Catch I'll go. Later. We can sabotage Thanks. the vault. But that would probably be evil karma. Job. Good oh. to see you again. You okay there? Oh, it's good to see you're back from outside. It can be dangerous out there for someone your age. Tell me about the rebels. Here, we aren't asking for anything special. The vault's been open before, but for some reason, everyone tries to pretend it wasn't. I guess they 